A 13-year-old is lucky to be alive tonight after police say she was taken to the hospital with a blood alcohol level more than four times the legal limit for an adult. Yeah, as a result, 32-year-old Stephanie Haver of Lake City has been arrested, now charged with multiple counts of child neglect and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignon joining us live outside that home in Columbia County where police took her into custody. Eric? Yes, this is the home where police say a 13-year-old girl uh, drank so much alcohol that it nearly killed her. They also say that uh, there were some other minors living in the home uh, who appear to be in, uh, shall I say, conditions that are very deplorable on the inside. 32-year-old Stephanie Javier is in a world of trouble. Lake City police say she provided an environment inside her home that allowed a 13-year-old girl to get so drunk her blood alcohol was more than four times the legal limit. Next-door neighbor Dorothy Merrifield says she had problems with Javier. There's been a lot of minor children that came and went continuously at all hours. Um, a few times we've had to go over and tell them to keep it down because at 2 o'clock in the morning you've got partying going on, you've got screaming, yelling, fighting. Investigators say the case against Tavir began when the boyfriend of a 13-year-old girl called the girl's parents to let them know their daughter needed to be picked up at this Walmart because she was sick after drinking alcohol. By the time the girl's parents arrived, their daughter was unresponsive and required immediate medical attention. Paramedics determined the girl was in critical condition. Police say her blood alcohol level was 0.371. That's more than four times the legal limit for an adult. According to investigators, the girl drank two and a half bottles of liquor. We don't know what kind of liquor, but one can only imagine what drinking from these two bottles would do to a child. Police learned earlier in the night the girl's boyfriend dropped her off at Javier's home where they say she drank the liquor in front of other minors who live here. Police also say during their investigation they found drug paraphernalia in addition to alcohol inside the home. Officers described the minors as appearing unkept and residing in unlivable conditions. It's absolutely true. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There was um, animals left behind, which is something that never should have happened. Um, there was a lot of trash. There was um, a lot of dog poop and urine and uh, dishes that had mold growing on them. Now, we're told the DCF investigator did come to the home and that investigator tested uh, Javier for illegal drugs and the, the results of that test was uh, tested. She tested positive for marijuana. As for the children, we understand she had two children. Uh, right now, we have no idea where they are, if they're in the custody of the state or in the custody of another relative. Reporting live in Lake City, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, you talked a little bit about the conditions there, but have police been to that apartment before? Yes, neighbors tell me that police have been here before, and I want to show you something else. Let's swing the camera this way. They tell me that the uh, fire department was recently here because they, uh, they say that the children actually set fire to some of the furniture. When you look in there, I see uh, what it used to be a bed, maybe a, a stand and some other things, but uh, they say recently this was torched by the children. So, yes, both, pol both police and fire department have been to this location. Kent? Pretty concerning story there. Eric Avenue reporting live from Lake City tonight.